Welcome back to Happy Fish Fish Documentaries. In this episode, we'll be talking about the Indonesian rock gobby. The one at the front here is a male on the bogwood. He's smaller than the female and a bit darker in his colour, but I think it's nicer. The female's over here at the back. You see her? I've just got the two. I did have three, but the other female decided to kill the first female I had. Uh, <coughs> I think they're an egg-laying species rather than a live bearer, but they're very nice and they, they do graze on algae a little bit as well. Uh, they're not very hardy, so keep water conditions right if you intend to keep the Indonesian rock goby. Um, they like bogwood as well. They can generally live in it with anything that won't eat them. Uh, you see them grazing now. Little sucker mouth, a bit like a plec, but a lot smaller. Uh, sort of a long sausage shaped body with like froggy sort of head and a nice golden tail fin try and get a shot of that there it is sort of hover around the tank sort of doing the butterfly swimming sort of thing but uh they like planted aquariums because they like to sit on the leaves like the big big leaves like that one and uh oh it's gone Let's just get a shot of the female one now. Uh, they'll accept uh, tablet foods, um, live foods also accepted, but not very well. Um, they probably won't get frozen food, they just doesn't sink down to the bottom fast enough for the other fish to get it before they do. But, um, they seem to be quite long lived. I've had these th these two for a few months now. Uh, so quite a nice fish to keep as well. If, uh, if you intend to be a goby keeper, the one I'd first suggest trying with before you try any of the bumblebee gobies or uh, cobalt blue gobies or anything like that. A lot harder to keep. But that's about it for the Indonesian rock goby. Uh, next time I think I'll be reviewing either the zebra and the right snail or the um, pygmy golden barbs. Uh, see you later.